The northeastern coast of Japan is still recovering from a devastating tsunami less than two years ago. This morning, history threatened to repeat itself. That's right. A major earthquake struck in the Pacific Ocean overnight. It set off tsunami warnings in that same area that was hit so hard back in March 2011. Lucy Kraft is in Tokyo. Lucy, good morning. Good morning. This latest quake is just another reminder of how terribly vulnerable Japan is to an assortment of natural disasters. Memories of that triple tragedy in 2011 are vivid for all of us, but especially up in the northeastern coast of Japan, which is yet to, uh, to rebuild since last year's tragedy. Here in Tokyo, the 7.3 magnitude earthquake rattled windows and shook the walls for several minutes. Buildings swayed, but there are no immediate reports of damage or death. There were at least 10 injuries. The shaking lasted for a long time. The epicenter was 150 miles off Japan's northeast coast. Sirens blared as officials issued immediate warnings for residents to escape to higher ground. I'm all right now. Japan's northeast coast was devastated by the March 2011 quake and tsunami that took 20,000 lives and set off the world's worst nuclear meltdown since Chernobyl. This morning, workers at the Fukushima nuclear plant were ordered to evacuate. Tokyo Electric Power Company, the plant's operator, reported no irregularities. A three-foot-high tsunami wave came ashore, but all tsunami warnings have since been lifted. In the wake of the March 2011 disaster, the fate of Japan's nearly 50 nuclear power plants remains very much unresolved. On, on December 16th, we're going to have an election. The conservatives are likely to take power and support nuclear power once again. That's likely to cause gridlock in the parliament, send de demonstrators into the streets. Back to you, Charlie and Nora. Lucy Kraft, thank you.